Hey Leos and welcome to the Angel Cooperative YouTube channel with um, your monthly tarot horoscope for September 2019. My name is Liza Mariani and I'm so glad you're joining us. If you're new to the Angel Cooperative, welcome and definitely like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell button on the side to um, receive notifications for when we are uploading our new videos. And um, just a reminder that this is a general reading and, you know, it's not necessarily going to resonate with everyone. It's meant for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign, and Venus Signs. So if this reading does not necessarily resonate with you, check out the other signs in your chart to see if those are better off for you. Um, all right, well, let's dig into your reading. I already shuffled and um, laid the cards out for you guys already. And I wanted to quickly connect with your energy to see what's going on for you guys this month. Um, yes, and I also have to pull a Romance romance Angels card and a Wisdom of the Oracle card, which I will right now real quickly pull one for you guys. And I do see, you know, that there is, a, there is some... some confusion going on around Leo in the month of September. So not that it's a bad thing, because I feel like, you know, you guys are pretty, pretty strong and pretty confident um, as a sign. And you always know how to stand your ground when it comes to certain situations and certain people. Okay, let's see what we have. Ooh, new love. We have new love. Wow, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Leo, you guys are you little devils. You guys have gotten some attention from somebody new that's coming in. And that's really exciting energy. I, I do feel like it could be another fire sign here. Um, or it could be a Virgo because we do have um, the hermit card here in your um in your environment and the hermit does stand for Virgos as well so this person that be coming towards you could be a Virgo and and yes we do have them you know offering you gifts and presents and it could even just be buying you things to make you feel good about yourself or even just telling you you know how much they appreciate you as a person All right, let's pull a card from the wisdom of the Oracle real quick a change in the wind. Wow, this is a good month for Leo. Yes, I do feel good energy, good changes, good things coming in, new love, um, definitely new beginnings um, for, for Leo. It's, you know, but of course there are times where you're not feeling sure of yourself. So let's dig in to see what's going on for you. The overall energy here we have is the Hierophant. And um, with that, we also have the um, the Jealousia card, which is the Jealousy card, and it's reversed. So, you know, I feel like it's really you're you're kind of tuning into what's important and not looking what other people have, and and it's more for your energies. You know, you're you're looking to you know gain a higher understanding to certain things. Um, you might even be researching um, new options for change and to look at things from a different perspective instead of being so close-minded um, and also opening yourself up to your spirituality with the Hierophant. The Hierophant can also signify, um, you know, like somebody who's coming in to help you, um, could be a mentor of some sort. But um, since this is your overall energy, it could also be that, you know, you're gaining support from someone who's helping you through this time to kind of, gain some clarity about what it is that you need to do next in your life and it's to stop focusing on the people around you and what you don't have so it's a good good energy because i feel like it's finally like making you feel like you're starting to understand what it is that you want um with the two of swords reverse which is also in the center reading this also frames you um and it's also about being forced to make decisions kind of and also in a situation where you're not really looking at things intuitively and not understanding 
things like that are being presented to you and really not wanting to make a choice. Um, and that's also your feeling. And you're also with the Sospiri, which is, you know, having hope and, and wishing and, you know, waiting for this new, um, new things to come in. It's just like, you're really hopeful that things are going to change and change for the better. So this is, you know, kind of the energy that you're coming into this month. And it definitely feels good. I feel like, you know, you're willing to make changes and you're willing to do things that are different or, or, you know, outside of what you've been normally doing in the past, you know, because in the past, I feel like you have dealt with people who, you know, no matter how much work you put into things, this is the, um, the eight of pentacles and, you know, with the eight of pentacles, you know, it's not, you've been working so hard and not getting any returns for what you've been putting into, um, and we have Il Namico, which is the enemy. So, and I feel like this, you know, whatever you were doing to make somebody, it was never good enough for them. Whatever you did was never good enough. It never satisfied them. It never made it, you know, things get better. It always felt like things were always staying the same or if not getting worse. So no matter what, how much energy you would put into something, it would always feel like you were spinning your tires in a way, like almost in a energy like you were, you're stuck and you're not seeing any um, improvement. So luckily that's behind you. So that's a good thing. <laughs> it's not energy that's coming in. This is something that you're looking back on. Um, and also with, you know, your current energy here, you do have the Eight of Swords and La Donna di Servizio. The Eight of Swords is all about keeping yourself prisoner to your own thoughts. It's like, you know, your own negative self-talk and like, expectations you're putting on situations that you are, you know, kind of feeling stuck and bound to. Um, and also with the, you know, the Donna Di Servizio is the woman that is always helping and, and is always doing for other people. And, and you feel like, you know, you, you're putting yourself into the situation where you feel, you know, that this is something that is expected of you and, and it's also keeping you prisoner in this situation where but the thing is you know even though you feel like this it's all in your head it's really you have the choice to say no to certain people in certain situations and you have a right to put your foot down when it comes to stuff in your life and also setting healthy boundaries and i feel like you have been letting people get away with things for um for a little bit too long where, you know, the energy of having to do things and where it was never good enough. It's also where you were always trying to make somebody happy and it never was, you know, ever was never good enough to make them happy. So now it's like, you need to learn to put an end to this energy where you're always trying to like make others happy and do things to like, you know, make things better it's like you know oh i have to do better i have to work harder or i have to do... it's like you know that negative self-talk that it's you know i'm not doing good enough and i'm not good enough or i'm you know i'm less than i need to work harder i need to do this better i'm not that good of a person i'm not that smart you know these are things that you're telling yourself which is not necessarily true <laughs> it's actually these are just in your head and you almost believe them sometimes it's just your own negative self-talk so you need to try to control that a little bit this month because you know you want to focus on what it is that you do want to bring into your life and stop focusing on negative energy because the more negative energy you you focus on the more that you manifest that into your life so you don't want that um <clears throat> we also have here in in your environment which is the hermit and you know as I was saying, this could be someone coming towards you. It could definitely be a Virgo, um, but it also could be, um, this could be your energy too, um, whereas you are kind of isolating yourself from certain people in certain situations, and it's actually making you feel better. It's almost like you're removing yourself from social circles um, or removing yourself from what you normally would be seeing yourself, you know, every day or who you normally interact with and kind of, you know, putting like you're, dist you're distancing yourself from other people and you're really looking inwardly at the things that are more important in your life and things that you will see for yourself. But 
I do feel like that for some of you, this is somebody who is coming in and is offering um, something very good and wants to spend more time with you. So it could also be where you are kind of um, distancing yourself from a lot of people because you want to spend more time with this certain someone. So that could also be coming into play for some of you single um, single Leos, you know, you're looking for love and you're looking to have, you know, this person in your life and you're kind of, you know, removing yourself from like the social circles and being readily available to talk to everyone. So I do feel like that is true for some of you and it may mean different things for, um, for different people in, that are Leos. And of course, this is a general reading. So, you know, it means different things for different people, definitely. Um, in your hopes and your fears here, we have um, the two of wands reversed with La Nemica. And I definitely believe this is in your fears. Um, you know, the two of wands reversed is really not willing to move forward. And you're afraid of not moving forward and having options. And you're also afraid of somebody coming towards you and taking advantage of you. And um, La Namika is the person, who, she's wearing the mask and she's not true and she's not kind and she's actually, you know, she's manipulative and she's, you know, got bad intentions. Her intentions are definitely not good towards you. So, I mean, being that this is in your fears, it's not that it's there is somebody there doing this to you. It's just that you don't want this in your life. And, and this is, you know, you don't want to have relationships where this is going to happen again. Because I feel like this is what, what you've been through in the past. And you just don't want to manifest it to come back into your life again. It's almost like you're trying to block that energy from happening again. And you want to, you know, welcome something new in that actually makes you feel good about yourself. And somebody who actually wants you for you and actually enjoys you for who you are and you don't have to change yourself to make them happy or do things according to what they're expecting of you so i feel like that is you know something that you are actually kind of you know wanting and dealing with right now and you know with this hermit energy i definitely feel like this is you know something that you've been wishing for this is something that you want something that is feels good and it also it, it makes you reflect on who you are inside and not what you are on the outside it's not all about your looks and and you know how you you know present yourself it's more about who you are inside and and somebody else who can match that energy with you and showing that they are also good on the inside it's not all about appearances it's you know it's more than that Definitely. And with your um, your outcome here, which is interesting because we have the Knight of Wands, which is also Leo energy, um, but it's also excitement, somebody coming towards you. And you also have Fortuna, and which is good fortune, good luck. And, you know, this is something that's really good and it's going to feel good and it's going to be fun. Um, this could be another fire sign. Um, definitely Aries, Leo or um, Sagittarius. So this could be another fire sign that you're dealing with that's coming towards you and actually, you know, looking to do things that are more fun and definitely having more ambition to like, just get you out of your comfort zone sometimes, but also it's just about, there's also passion involved in this. And it's also, you know, where you feel good about yourself and, and it's excitement. It's never boring, that's for sure. Um, Knight of the Wands are, you know, the Knight of Wands is never a boring energy. This is definitely exciting and it also feels good. And it's something that you, you feel lucky to have found. Um, and, and I do feel like this is a person that is coming into your life. It's definitely a person. Um, definitely if they're not a fire sign, they definitely possess this energy about them. They're definitely more fun loving and it's like they're definitely silly when they want to be silly they're not they're not boring that's for sure they're not too emotional they're not too analytical they're definitely somebody who likes to go out and do things and they like to hike they like to um they're very active and they like to go places they like to travel um this is also about traveling too 
um, the Knight of Wands. It could be that you're actually taking a trip, but I feel like this is, you know, going with a person and doing fun things. And, you know, you definitely could be, you know, taking little vacations together or doing things where you're spending more time together. So it is going to feel really good. Um, you know, especially since this is a new love coming in. Um, it's exciting for Leo. I mean, I don't know, hopefully for all you single Leos out there, this is definitely resonating. I hope so. <laughs> um, well, for you married Leos, I don't see this resonating, but you know, new love, it's, you know, I feel like that definitely won't, unless you're looking at somebody else outside of your relationship, which is not something you want to be doing but you know with this knight of wands energy i definitely feel like for the single leos these are this is really going to come into play in the month of september and you know you're looking at things from a different perspective which is really good and it's and it's and it's also a time of change um you know a change in the wind is a really positive card it's showing that things are moving in a different direction it's not going the same way that it used to be like the way the same cycle that you've been on so when there's a change in the wind it's almost like you're starting something new and something exciting and something that you're not even really sure about yet but you know you have to be willing to take a chance and you know see where it goes and it's almost like just see where the wind takes us you know and I feel like yeah just go for it just have fun with it just don't think too much about it don't put too much energy into what it can be and don't analyze it too much. Just have fun and just, you know, let it go and let it flow. Um, you know, definitely I see that this is, a, you know, a good transition for you. You've been through a lot in the past where, you know, whatever you did was never good enough for other people. So now I feel like it's time to, for you to finally have somebody who is more exciting to have in your life and somebody who is more exciting to take you out of that um that routine of you know boredom and like working so hard to make things work and it never working out so there's definitely a shift here a shift for the better so i'm excited for you guys i hope you know this definitely resonated for you and you know please comment below and let me know if it resonated and in which way and you know i'd love to hear comments from our viewers and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out my link below for my own personal page where I will be posting other videos weekly for you guys. So that way, if you want to check me out there, that'd be great too. Um, all right. Well, have a great month, Leo, and I hope you have a wonderful September and enjoy it. And definitely look for me next month for your October video. All right, well, have a good rest of the month. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.